Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and here are five cool effects that you can use to change the sound of the MIDI instruments in BandLab. Here, I will use the Grand Piano MIDI instrument, but these effects work equally well on just about all of the BandLab MIDI instruments. On the track mixer screen, Below the bottom track, tap on the plus icon. On the pop-up menu, tap on MIDI instruments. At the top of the FX screen, scroll through the tabs and tap on the keyboards tab. Tap on the grand piano to install it. Then tap on the grand piano again. Here, I will add some notes and turn on looping, so you can hear how the effects affect the sound. At the bottom of the screen, tap on FX. Tap on Create below the None icon. Then, at the top right of the FX screen, Tap on the plus icon. At the top of the FX screen, scroll through the tabs and tap on the Tone tab. Then tap on Multi Filter. The Multi Filter is good for modifying the tone of the sound. Set the type to High Pass for a brighter sound. and move the dot on the line to the right of the word frequency to adjust the brightness. Set the type to low pass for a warmer sound. And move the dot on the line to the right of the word frequency to adjust the warmth. At the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. At the top of the FX screen, Tap on the Delay tab, then tap on D-Delay. The D-Delay is good for adding some rhythmic motion to the sound. Move the dot on the slider to the right of the word Time to adjust the rhythmic motion. Move the dot on the slider to the right of the word Feedback to adjust the reverb effect on the delayed notes. Move the dot on the sliders to the right of the words HP Filter and LP Filter to shape the tone of the delayed notes. Move the dot on the slider to the right of the words dry level and wet level to change the accent on the notes. At the top right of the effects screen, 
tap on the plus icon. At the top of the FX screen, scroll through the tabs and tap on the Reverb tab. Then tap on Studio Reverb. The Studio Reverb is good for giving the sound a more acoustic feel. Move the dot on the slider to the right of the word Mix to adjust the volume of the reverb. Move the dot on the slider to the right of the word size to adjust the time length of the reverb. At the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. At the top of the FX screen, scroll through the tabs and tap on the modulation tab. Then tap on phase 45. The phase 45 is good for giving the sound a pulsating motion. Move the dot on the slider to the right of the word rate to adjust the swell speed. At the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. At the top of the FX screen, scroll through the tabs and tap on the Dynamics tab. Then tap on Noise Gate. The Noise Gate is good for shaping the beginning and the end of the sound. Move the dot on the slider to the right of the word release to shape the sound after the note is released. Move the dot on the slider to the right of the word threshold to shape the sound when the note is pressed. At the top left of the screen, tap on the back arrow. Here I have used the effects on the Pike keyboard sound.
If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.